we're going to talk a little bit about acceleration. And by definition, acceleration is the rate at which velocity changes. So it works like this. We know that when we find the rate of something, we're going to be dividing it by time. We know that what's going to change is the velocity. So we're going to have to use two different velocities. We're going to have to use a final velocity, and we're going to have to use an initial velocity, a beginning velocity. We're going to see how they change. That means we're going to subtract them. So right in this definition, we have the equation for acceleration. Acceleration is change in velocity divided by change in time. Or, it can be written like this. Acceleration equals final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. And that becomes our basic equation for calculating acceleration. Well, before we look at any problems, let's talk about what acceleration is and how it differs from velocity. If we talk about a constant velocity, an unchanging velocity, then what we're saying is that an object, a car, an airplane, anything, would travel the same distance in every single time interval. So let's suppose we have a car. We're looking down here on the top of the car. The car is moving from left to right at a constant velocity. If the car is dripping oil at a constant rate, say one drop every second, as it moves with a constant velocity, then the oil droplets that land on the road would look something like this. They would all be the same distance apart. That shows us that the car is traveling the same distance during every single time interval. The time interval between each one of these oil drops, in this case, was one second because we said it was dripping at at a rate of one drop per second. If the car is moving with a constant velocity, in that direction, then the drops would land on the ground the same distance apart. However, if this car is undergoing what's referred to as a positive acceleration, which means speeding up, when we look at that same car over a period of time, we start out, because the car is traveling with an acceleration rather than a constant velocity, the oil droplets, if they are dropped one every second, would land on the road and they would be further and further apart. And that's simply because in this second situation, the speed of the car, the velocity of the car, is increasing during every time interval. The time between drops is still one second. It's one second between that first drop and that second drop. And between the second drop and the third drop is another second. So even though the time is the same, the distance between the drops increases geometrically because the car is accelerating. It's speeding up. That's the difference between a constant velocity and an acceleration. So what we want to remember is define acceleration, the rate at which the velocity changes. Remember the acceleration equation. Acceleration equals final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. Don't forget the difference between constant velocity and acceleration.